8121 NFL Talk Thanksgiving edition. Okay, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving edition. Thanksgiving edition. Right, so we have week 11, mm-hmm. but we also had Thanksgiving, so we figured, well, I figured, we would wait until um, after the Thanksgiving games and combined it. Yes. Even though some of the Thanksgiving games, they are considered week 12. Yeah. But, hey, we can do what we want to do. Right? It's our show. It's our show. So, um, what I got here? Uh, oh, our podcast, the audio podcast that we, I'm telling you, like, the audio <laughs> podcast that we usually um, do, we haven't done one since October 13th. So, wow, it's been that long? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's because over here to my right, Mm -hmm. we're working on another uh, setup to do podcasts where we talk about everything except football. Like? Sure. Everything except football. Everything except football. So be on the lookout for that. I can't give you a specific time, but be on the lookout for that. Yeah. What's what's next on the list? What's next on the list? So, shouts out. Shout Shout out. Shouts. Shout out. Out. Shout out to my man Amp Douglas, mm-hmm. Buffalo native. Mm-hmm. He been heating up Josh Allen this this last week when I spoke to him, talking mm. about you know some of the weaknesses of Josh Allen. Mm-hmm. Um, I would rather have him on here so he can say what he say. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we'll work on that in the future. I'm not gonna get into Josh Allen and all that. I think I spoke about him earlier when we were doing the old uh, the older shows. So uh, what I was thinking is that Josh Allen has what thirteen interceptions. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And Jalen Hurts has nine. But does the interceptions not matter that much when you're winning? So when you're mm. winning, does it mean that you really don't pay attention to the interceptions? I think it's not just how many you have; it's how, like, not how many you have, but how you gave them up. Mm. Right, where where they force throws. Okay. okay. Like um Jalen his force throws in comparison to Josh Allen's force mm-hmm. throws, like was Josh um wowing when he threw. Him. Okay. All right. Versus, you know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so my man Amp, shout out to my man Amp, true Buffalo native, born and raised in Buffalo. He loved the Bills. So he ain't he's he ain't, no nonsense. He ain't feeling Josh Allen. Sort of right like now. You think you would be like that with the Cowboys? I guess I would. Yeah, like yeah. I am with the Giants. Yeah. So anyway, shout out my man Amp Douglas. Okay, Amp. Out there in where is he? Maryland. He's in Maryland right now. He lives in Maryland. Okay, Amp. Um, what's next? Uh. So we're gonna start off with the Giants. You know what we gotta do first before we start off with the Giants. We gotta put the NFC East logo right here. Okay. Okay, right. so once we get that there, then we can slide on with our first game. What's our first game? Giants versus the Commanders. Giants and the Commanders. Yes. As you can see, what do I have on today? Man, you you so wrong. You so uh, wrong. He only wear his his Giants gear when the Giants win. Unlike me, y'all know that for it's week eleven, so mm-hmm. we've done eleven of these, and I've had on Giants. No, ooh. Lord Jesus, <laughs> I've had on Cowboys gear right, right. every week, Re- regardless if we win or we lose. I'm rocking something in the Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? So and and that is good for so. you. That's good for you. Yeah, okay. but we won. We Look, won. even my watch. Y'all see that? Even my watch. Okay, the Giants won. What was the score? Uh, 33, 33 to nineteen. 19. Um, hey, Del Vito. Quarterback mm-hmm. for the Giants. Um, I saw an interesting stat where he had in the last two games he's had four touchdowns, which mm. is more than Zach Wilson on the entire year. You know that's crazy. I'm not saying Del, I'm not saying Del Vito is a starter and he's Isn't ready. It Del to, Devito, Devito, Rocky Marciano, whatever his name Some is. Some Italian name. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Rocky Balboa, a- Adrian. I don't care what it is. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm not saying that he's you know up there with the elites, but I mean he is standing right now. Mm-hmm. I don't expect the Giants to make the playoffs. Okay. But it was a good fight, 33-19. I didn't expect them to do that to mm-hmm. the Washington Commanders. 
Barkley was on fire. Saquon did his thing. He had two touchdowns, I think. He did his thing. Yeah, he did so his he thing. was good. He was good. But there's not, I mean, all the news that has developed, uh, stuff that we would talk about over the season, you know, Danny Jones, then Tyrod, you know, I got his jersey on today. Uh, it's, yeah, all that news is like dead. Mm. Like there's nothing else to talk about. I mean, they what, five and seven? Five and Who's five and seven. The Giants, what are they, four and seven? Uh like three and something. Okay, three well and three eight, and eight, right? something like that. But I don't expect them to make the playoffs and, and I really don't appreciate that little smirk on your face over here. What you know, I get smirk? on this show and I don't I don't disrespect the Cowboys. I don't disrespect but the it's Giants coming. either. You keep that face going on. I don't it's even coming. know what you're talking about. Right I now, do not disrespect She's them. looking down because she's looking to see what's the Giants record actually. Am I wrong? I'm trying to find it. I don't. Yeah, um, yeah. You um, see what I have to deal with? I don't even know what you're talking about. Anyway, Giants beat the Washington Commanders 33 to 19. Uh, great victory, a pride victory. I call it. Like we just can't go out getting losing to everybody. So there you have that. Who's next on the menu? Who's next? Cowboys and Panthers. The Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys and the Panthers. Since we have to talk about Dallas twice in this show, we'll say Dallas won. What was the score? 33 to 10. It was never close. It was never meant to be close. Hmm. It was I, I 33 to 10. It was a blowout. Let's call it. It was. It but then people would say, well, it's supposed to be a blowout because the Panthers are a bad team. They're let you know, at the bottom of the barrel in the NFL. I I'm they are. I'm kind of up in they the air are. about that because, I mean, these schedules are made years in advance. You know that. Yeah. yeah. You. I mean, you play who you play. Right. I mean, come on. I mean, I. But I, why do some people act like Jerry chose the teams he played? Because let's talk about this. Let's look right here in the screen. Okay. Dallas Cowboys are America's team. Mm-hmm. They have a relationship where either you love them or you hate them. I know there's no in between. Anything they do, if they win a game, it's not enough. If they go to the playoffs, it is not enough. If they go to the World Series, like I told you today, and they don't, I mean the World Championship, Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. I'm going baseball. I'm going everything. I know everything. you are. If, if they go to the Super Bowl mm-hmm. and they don't win, failure. Uh, okay. Because they are the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. Right now, the Panthers are struggling with. Um, What's his name? Bryce Young. Bryce Young. Well, I don't really think it's that they're struggling with Bryce Young. I think that because they're trying to build their team back up, you know, that they're just struggling, period. Hmm. You know? They're struggling. It's called struggle. Yeah, they're struggling. <laughs> and but Bryce, it's not just Bryce Young, no, no, though. No, no, And Bryce Young is, the, is the, the big guy on the team. He's the face. Yeah, he's the first face. First round, first overall pick, right? Yeah. He he got it. I mean, he got to do with it. They they have to get him some wide receivers. They have to get him running backs. Most importantly, they're in the same position as the Colorado Buffaloes. They have to get an O line. An O line. They have to. But okay, so Dallas, 33, mm-hmm. 10, 33. Yeah. yeah. And don't forget 10. that Blinn got his pick six on Sunday too. I thought that was against. I thought that was against uh, the, the Thanksgiving Day team. He got it there too. Okay, so we're we gonna get to them. Okay, we gotta come right. back now. Philly, um, in Philly, Kansas City, which I thought for Week Eleven was the game of the week. Yes, I thought it was the game of the week. I will say this: anybody could have won that game. Anybody. True. True. Because I don't remember the wide receiver's hand, but uh, Mahomes threw that that last pass they could have got a touchdown with mm-hmm. it hit him in the hands he just dropped it mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. people start picking on wide receiver court the core they have uh people start saying should have paid Tyreek that money I don't know mm-hmm. about all that but that game could have went either way I think yeah. I think um Philadelphia showed their toughness again yeah it pulled it out at the end they pulled it out in the fourth quarter because like you said it could have went either way What's that shove called? What's it called? Push. Tush push. Oh yeah, the tush push. Yeah. Oh my God, that thing is automatic. It 
Just about. It right? makes you scared. Just about. When you play them because now fourth and inches is not enough to stop that. that not enough. Tush push. You not need enough. like a fourth and three because they're getting really close to three yards. But then they, they get, it. But then, then they get stopped. They got stopped though on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. I mean Monday. But, but they get averaging two, three yards on that push, which mm -hmm. is crazy. Yeah. I don't. I. I. You said on another show that um, Jalen Hurts, he's so strong. It's more than him. It's more than him. Look at that line the next time. Oh yeah, they push yeah. him, but he keeps those legs moving. Yeah, he keep them moving. So that mm -hmm. game, uh, Patrick Mahomes did what he usually does. Mm -hmm. But that other boy, let's say this. This is our segment. We don't mean any disrespect. We're gonna tell it like it is. You need to leave Taylor Swift ass at home. Yeah, because Kelsey dropped the ball on, on Monday. He dropped. He fumbled. So. He has not been the same since Taylor Swift bought her ass to Kansas City. Mm. You need to send her ass home. What you think? I don't know. Taylor got a hold on you. Do I got to call him? And now you can't hold on to the ball. Do I got to call him? You got to call, call him. Call him. Oh, man. Let me get over here and get this phone. Mm. Mm, okay. Mm, mm. Hello? Yo, what's up, man? Yo, what's up? Yo, what's good? You know, had a hard day on Hey, I don't care okay about all that. Hey, um, you should leave Taylor Swift at the crib. What you mean, leave her at the crib? She wasn't even there. Crib. But she wasn't there. Hey, leave her at the crib. That's my girl, man. I don't care if it's your grandma. Bro, leave at the crib. You know what? Get off my phone playing. Get off my phone. Hey, one more thing. No, no, one more what, thing. What? 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 Y'all ain't going to the Super Bowl. Get off my phone. Oh, man. It's just that simple. I don't play with these fools. Oh, shoot. I don't play with these fools. I don't know, Kelsey. Maybe a love life ain't for you right now. Huh. But anyway, let's let's move on. Hey, dude like his brother. Dude's brother got wife and kids. Gray beard. He chilling. And they winning. They're not in one. And he's thinking about retiring. There you go. He got, he got a ring, right? Yeah, Travis got a ring. He got a ring. Mm -hmm. What's his brother's name? Travis. Travis Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Travis does has a ring. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm talking about the other one. Uh, Big well, boy I, in Philly. I got his name now. The no, Travis is in Philly. Okay, who who's in um Kansas City? Oh, I forgot his name. You know, made me forget his first name. I think name. Travis is in Kansas City, right? Travis. It in shows Kansas you how City? much we just don't care. Oh my like, goodness! If, <coughs> if it's not NFC East, <coughs> whatever. Okay, Kelsey Brothers, you done made me forget. It's the Travis name. and it's uh, Boom Chica. Mm mm mm. It's Lottie Dottie Kelsey. It's who who? Lottie Dottie Kelsey. Oh my goodness! I would tell you in the Philly game, the the older Kelsey brother, he did some outstanding stuff. But you pointed out to Jason. Me, Jason is in Philly. Philly. Travis is Jason, in Kansas City. He's he's an All Pro. Mm -hmm. But you pointed out to me in that Kansas City Philly game, at one point he was looking at every bit of I'm sitting in a rocket chair next year. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like he was looking yeah. at the coach like this. Like, man. Whew, these boys getting younger. Right, right. But he's that guy though. He's yeah, that guy. He is. So I thought that was the game of the week. You what you think? I agree. Kept I you agree kept with you sitting there. You didn't know who was gonna win. Yeah, it went all the yeah. way down to the end. Yeah. Philly prevails. They are Nine and one. Nine and one. Nine and one. Best league in the NFL. Who's next? Um, that's it. That that's we talked for, about on week eleven. That's it for NFC East. Yeah. Right. And that week, the NFC East went three, three and one. And, one. Mm -hmm. and sadly, the one loss, the NFC East team took it, mm -hmm. which was Washington. But three and one. Yeah. Now let's do it. Okay. Week 12, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, man. Like I said, we're doing these early because it's Thanksgiving. Everybody's mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start off with Detroit and Green Bay. I really, really, really thought Detroit was going to win that game. Any given Sunday. Any given Sunday. All these guys on this field are elite athletes. Mm -hmm. They are. They're and, the best of the best, right? And if they smoke enough weed, mm, let me take that out. Rewind America, that. Take it out. I, I don't know. If they come to the game feeling good, that sound better? Yeah. And yeah. they out there clicking on all cylinders? Yeah. 
then it's gonna be a tough. It's week gonna be for a tough. It doesn't matter are. who's the worst team in the, in the, in the um, NFL. The Panthers. The Panthers. Okay, they still professionals, mm-hmm. and at any given moment, mm-hmm. you're gonna get the they Heisman. Get the script. Wait, did Bryce win the Heisman Trophy? I don't think Bryce won the Heisman. You're gonna get that boy if I don't if, think he if did. you don't be careful. You tear your ass apart. Real mm-hmm. talk. So. The point I'm making is Green Bay, Detroit. Detroit at the time was eight and two, I think. Mm-hmm. Now they're eight and three. Yes, and Green Bay is five and six. Yes. So they are third in their division. And Detroit's still first, right? Yeah, Detroit's still first. Yeah, but you didn't see that coming. I didn't. Um, I really thought Detroit was going to win that game. I didn't see Green Bay winning. Is Jordan Love? Is Jordan Love is for Green Bay, mm-hmm. but the quarterback for. Uh, uh, Detroit golf, golf. Mm-hmm. Let's not forget this. He was a starter with the Rams. Yes, he can play. He can. That's why he's over there doing what he's doing. Mm-hmm. But it just wasn't Sunday. I mean Thursday, not it on wasn't. Thursday. Thanksgiving so, Day was not their day. It was not their day. All right. Let's keep it moving. All right. Our next game would be the 49ers and the Seahawks. Mm-hmm. The score was 31 to 13. But mm-hmm. it actually was a lot better, closer when you watch it play out. Uh, I think Seattle, a few things they did wrong here and there, could have been a different outcome. Right. It could have been a different outcome. They fought hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, they will come in second place. Yeah, yeah. They will come in second place because they're in the same vision as their opponent, San Francisco 49ers. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I think so. They, I don't see them... Well, you know what? I'm not going to say that because like you say, any given Sunday. So who knows? The 49ers could have another losing streak. Most people say no because they got all their weapons back and everything. But, I mean, it's possible. They just two games behind them, so yeah. it's possible. Geno Smith is, is doing good. I didn't see as much of Metcalf as I would like to see. Mm-hmm. But they they were doing their thing, especially in the end. They started to figure out for the 49ers defense, but it was too late. It yeah. was too late. So if they had another quarter, it could have been a different yeah. outcome. <laughs> if they had another quarter. A wow. fifth quarter. How many times have I heard that? Right. Man, Just if we played one, five one quarters, quarter. man, you'd be in one trouble. One more quarter. Okay. Let's let's do it. Okay. We still here. 49ers. Mm-hmm. What did they look like to you? Because there's been a lot of talk and the guy, they better, blah, blah, blah. I mean, 49ers look good. Mm. But you know what, like I was saying before, was it the passing game? That won the game, no. or was it the running game? The running game. No, it was equal. Was it the defense? All three were equal. It was what? What they call that? I don't know. I don't know. Balance. It was balanced. It was, it was a balanced but I team know play, a, not a balanced offense or balanced defense. It's balanced team play. I know there's a, a term for it, but it, it it's left my mind right now. Well, I tell you, complimentary, one thing. complimentary. I, I tell football. you one thing. I am still amazed by Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey? Boy, you was bloody and everything, but you was getting it in. I am amazed. If you let that boy get any type of opening. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. And then the way they play Debo Samuels. Is he a wide receiver? Is he a running back? What what is he? They got him listed as a wide receiver. Mm. But as you saw on that touchdown where he basically walked into the end zone. That was a running play. So I, I don't know. But whatever Debo is, Debo will play. You play him, Ayuk. Ayuk. Who we missing? Kittles. Kittle. Kittle, not Kittles. Kittle. And they got one more guy. Who's the other guy? I can't think of him right now. But the ball was spread it evenly. Purdy was looking okay. Mm-hmm. He was looking all right. But they had the staff back. And the reason I said it in that order, Seattle, San Francisco, is I want to ask you, with that team and your team, who we're going to touch next, mm-hmm. do you think Dallas can beat them now? Beat uh, San Francisco? Yes. I think we can. Y'all didn't show up the last one. We did not all. show up. Dak had three interceptions in that last game. At all. That game, well, that game with San Francisco. I am glad that it's building up like this where, okay, you got three teams in the NFC that you hate to see them play. But it's got to be done. Yeah. Philly, San Francisco, Dallas. You hate to see it, but it's got to be done. No disrespect to Detroit. But those three, 
It's got to be somebody got to go home crying. Yeah, but then, you know, Detroit and San Francisco have the same record, but I'm just curious to see who's going to come out of the NFC. We can't call it. Super Bowl contenders. We can't call it. Because the way Dallas is putting these points up, they put the most points up in the first quarter. They put the most points up before halftime. They are out there and without a solid red zone game. That's what's scary. But the red zone game is looking better. It's better. But it's, it's way better. But they put them points up in the first, second quarter, first strike, boom, boom, boom. They up there mm-hmm. like nobody else. They lead the league, you know. Okay. Uh, they might lead the league in points, scoring points per game. I'm not sure. Oh, no. But with that being said, you catch, just like we said, any given Sunday. Mm-hmm. San Francisco coming in lazy, Dallas blowing their ass out of the building. Right. If Dallas coming in lazy, San Francisco blowing them out of the building. Yeah. If either one of them coming in lazy, notice how it changes. Philly is going to bully their ass out I'm of the building. I'm curious. Mm-hmm. I'm ready mm-hmm. for the Philly and um, San Francisco San Francisco game. I want to see who's going to come out on top. I'm, I'm early. I don't know what week they play, but I'm going to say Philly. I want to say is week next week. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say Philly. I think and week thirteen. The, and the reason I'm going to say Philly because out of everybody, mm-hmm. Dallas is fast. Dallas is swift. And Dallas, Dallas, they have intelligent players on defense. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not saying that Philly is not, but they're a little more physical. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to see how that goes over with Christian McCaffrey. Mm. He ain't gonna be running through that line like that. He gonna get up. He he's gonna have to get in on that pass game. December third. December third. We'll be there. It's about two weeks. Forty nine is an Eagles. It's about we two weeks, see. right? Yep. All right, so that was Philadelphia, Kansas City. We talked a little bit about Philly. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it wasn't. That was Kansas City and Kansas City and who? Oh, well, Seahawks. no, we was talking Thanksgiving, so we was talking 49ers and Seahawks. Yeah, 49ers. See, I'm confused. I see. That was the 49ers and the Seahawks. Mm-hmm. Um, and we got the Seahawks next week, but we will. 49ers won 41. I mean, 31 to 13. Mm-hmm. They just flipped the score on them. Get it? 31, yeah, 13, yeah, flipping score. And our grand finale. Yes. Thanksgiving Day. Dallas and November Washington. 23rd, 2023. Mm-hmm. The ever famous Dallas Cowboys. They always play on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. As I told you, it changed. It used to be Dallas and Pittsburgh when I was a kid. It used to be Dallas and Detroit. Now it's Dallas and the Commanders. Well, in this. It's been Dallas and the Giants and Yeah. But it's always Dallas. And one year it was Dallas and the Panthers. It's and the always, Panthers won that year. Or was that Christmas they played? I'm not sure. It was one those. But it's holidays. always Dallas. I think it was it was Thanksgiving. America's, Dallas and the Commanders. America's, um, Panthers. America's team. America's team. It's always Dallas. Always playing. This game on Thanksgiving between Dallas and uh the Cowboys and the Commanders. hmm I'm gonna let you talk about it. Um I think you should talk about it because I was in and out because I was still cooking. Hmm. But it was a good game. Okay, let me talk about what surprised me. Okay. I still saw some of it. Mm-hmm. The commanders are usually a tough out. Mm-hmm. They fight. They do. And they put points up in the end. Mm-hmm. They didn't yesterday. They did not. I think Dallas neutralized all that. Yeah. Sad thing about it, Sam Howell, which we know for sure right now, is the leading yardage quarterback Mm -hmm. in the NFL he still got over 300 yards just wasn't enough just wasn't enough and I would tell you why it wasn't enough Dallas's front line guard tackle center that front Ooh, Parsons picking wherever he want to be yeah oh my god like Sal Sal Hmm. uh Howell had second second and a half Mm-hmm. Before they were on before them. Before they were on, on them. them like yeah, this. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh my God. Yeah. His scrambling ability helped. Anybody it, else would have been a problem. Oh, but yeah. with Dallas, the defense is crazy. And if you get past them, you got Bland lurking back there. Mm. Deron Bland. Mm-hmm. Oh mm. my goodness. He was on fire. Mm. You know what they mean when they say they jump, jump a throw, they jump a ball? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's like you watching the quarterback and you playing dead in the water. You over here. Mm-hmm. And as soon as he go that way, you jump. You right there. You jump it. Yeah. You take that gamble. 
Because mm-hmm. he could fake you out. But you take that to gamble. Uh, when he did that on Thursday, mm-hmm. hmm, I was like, wow. And uh, Diggs is down. And this guy comes in, he ain't missing a beat. Right. He comes in, ain't missing a beat. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing both of them on the field. Oh, yeah. Next year. Um, offensively, Dak was... He, he was started good. off slow. Yeah, he did. He did start out slow. But but when they got he got his rhythm. I thought the pass to your tight end over the middle for the touchdown. Mm-hmm. Perfect. It don't get no better than that. Then he got disrespectful and ate a turkey drum out of the Salvation Army drum. Oh, yeah. And I was what I told you. The drumstick. I, I was like, hold up. Hold up. Don't give another team fuel. Because y'all play them again, don't you? Um, I think we already had our two games okay. against the Commanders. Have we? We play them next year. I think and, we've had two already. I'm not sure. Teams I have to look will at get schedule. gelled together based on stupid stuff like mm-hmm. that. But anyway, C.D. Lamb did what he usually do. Cooks is that his name? Cooks. Yes, he did what he usually do. He was hopping and catching balls. You know, but his little superhero. But there's one thing I would like to ask you. Uh mm-hmm. I think y'all are gonna have a, a running back controversy. Um, well, wait, but Pollard, I forgot the Sunday, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. That was Sunday when he got that touchdown. And First he, one since game one. But he was hauling for them late layers. Was he was high stepping to get that touchdown? Because twenty three, Dowdle. Dowdle. He's coming. You think he coming for his spot? Oh yeah, he coming. He coming. They're using Dowdle P- Pollard. Mm-hmm. They're using Pollard like Zeke and they're using Dowdle like Pollard last year yeah like what are y'all doing man his strength was around the end and right did it surprise you every now and then up the middle not priorities in lanes yeah and then every now and then around the corner because he got the speed right I don't understand what you think is going on I don't know I think they might be confused on how to use him because they kept on you know they got rid of Zeke and they're like Pollard's our number one he's number one he's the guy he's the guy but Pollard didn't have the same strength strengths as Zeke did. Like you say, to go up that middle, he wasn't Pollard is to me, he's not really a power runner. When was the last time you seen them give him a screen pass? He was killing with that last year. He was. I haven't seen it. And right. and I don't understand it. But that final score for that game was what was it? Uh mm. forty five to ten. Forty five to ten bigger blowout than 33 to 10 against the Panthers in week 11. Mm-hmm. They come back on Thursday. So between Sunday and Thursday, the Dallas scored 78, 78 points. points. Lot of mercy. 78 points. Now you wow. might argue, oh, they played trash and kind of trash. Again, this is the NFL people. Everybody in the NFL can play. Everybody can play. Oh, uh, some teams might not be as good of a team as other teams. But like I I was talking about before, most of the time, it's the coach and how you pull them together. Mm-hmm. And who feel, feels comfortable playing here in their relationship with the guy next to them. Right. But other than that, everybody had the physical skills. Like Richard Sherman said, these are probably the most elite athletes in the world. Mm-hmm. You got guys running at you, two hundred plus running a four two four three four four, and you got to stop. Them. Mm-hmm. And everybody out there is capable of doing it. They've proven that by being there. Exactly. So Dallas forty five ten over the Commanders, mm-hmm. and I think that's our Thanksgiving day games. There was a later one, Miami and the Jets. Yes, I think Miami won something like thirty one to six. Something think, like that. I, I don't think, even. Let I stopped me watching. I stopped watching. That was today. That, that was, was today's today. The day. day after, right? I'm sorry. Black Friday game, which the NFL, I guess, they're going to try to do this every year now and have a Black Friday game. Well, but the final score was 34 13. 34 so, 13. We, what's, what's it called? What game is it called? Black Friday. It was definitely Black Friday for the Jets. And they had on their black. And I mean, like, black. Like, 
bad. But I didn't even realize that Zach Wilson wasn't even playing. So no, he don't and play. what was that? Boyle, Boyle, that's yep. his name. Yep. He was the one that was playing today, and who knows what's going on with the Jets and who's going to finish out the year. It's well, Aaron Rodgers, and, the way they're talking, he trying to finish off the year. So he said really? he's trying to come back. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that one alone because yeah, he needs to sit down somewhere. You come out there and get hurt. Again. Again. And his old ass. Take your time and heal, Aaron. It'll be okay. This season is over for you. Yeah. Heal You're still getting properly. Heal properly and come back next year and, and be, you know, on point. Don't, don't go... Man, don't rush it. You still getting that paper? Right. Don't rush it. You yeah. too old to be rushing. Was he 38, 39? Heal. I don't even know what you're old. Yeah. In the football world. Yeah, just leave so it alone. Let, yeah, anyway. But so, that's it. Yeah, so that Miami was 34 to 13, you said? And that's crazy because now all the, in, all the NFC East teams have played. Oh, well, no. The Giants got a game on Sunday, right? Who they play against? Patriots. Let's start it off. I'm choosing the Giants in that game. Yeah. Who you got? I'm say the Giants. We don't we don't do point spreads and by how much. Uh, we just saying Giants, Giants. Now Philadelphia should and play Philly next got, week. Um, Philly has the Bills. Mm-mm. Possible game of the week. Amp. We will talk about Mr. Josh Allen after next week. All right. Because big big play slay. Big play slay. And I forgot the other guy's name. Uh, the other cornerback. They're pretty physical and they're pretty tough. Mm-hmm. Diggs talks a lot. And then, I like Diggs, but he talks a and lot. And then, while you're talking about that game, we can't forget Thibodeau and the Giants because he be getting after them quarterbacks. Because Thibodeau was giving um, Sam Howell the business when they played them on Sunday. He does that every game. So, Thibodeau, whoever the quarterback is, oh, whoever the quarterback. How? Josh, Josh, better watch out. As I'm, I'm oh, I'm confused. Yeah, you got me confused. Bills is playing the Eagles. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, thinking yeah, Bills yeah. is playing the Giants. That's, Patriots is playing the Eagles. Oh yeah, that's that's what that's I'm the saying. other Jones, Mac Jones. We, we, okay, yeah. forcing passes, barely getting it off at the end. Lucky plays, not that time. Buffalo, you got the green coming to Buffalo. I think. Mm. What was the second name on it? Eagles. Oh, so Buffalo is going to Philadelphia, mm-hmm. a nut house. Mm-hmm. Did you see that thing? Um, I think Zari showed it to you. The two most hated fans. The two most hated fans in the NFL are the Dallas Cowboys fans and the Philadelphia Eagles fans. So, and it is loud it's there. A zoo. And um, yeah, y'all better watch out, Bills. I was once told that you can hear Eagles fans from the turnpike. Wow. If you lived in that area, you know that's untrue. But just to say that. Wow. So, yeah. So, for me, that's going to be game of the week. I will be there for that. Yeah. Definitely. Um, NFC East teams, Washington already played. The Giants will play. Philadelphia will play. And the Cowboys already played. Mm-hmm. That was their week 12. We'll be back on them in week 13. We're almost down at the head. For this to be... You okay with it? Yeah, I was confused for a minute. That's week 12, yeah. For this to be our first time doing an NFL thing we, we, we pretty well good. this was this is our second time because last year we attempted it Man, I don't count that <laughs> but we'll be back you know hopefully mm-hmm. we'll be bigger and better I have some new jerseys and hopefully a reason to me wear, too hopefully a reason to wear a jersey every see I'm funny style I, can't. I, I gotta get a lamb and a blend I was gonna get Pollard you but got Michael Parsons? I don't have a Parsons. I got Diggs and Zeke and Dak. So, yeah, Parsons, Lamb, Bland. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. 8121 NFL Talk Thanksgiving Edition slash week 11 mm-hmm. slash week 12.